All right, welcome back to the channel. Javante Davis gets into it with Clarissa Shields. And man, I swear all my gentlemanliness is starting to leave because at certain point in time, Clarissa Shields <laughs> needs to be put in a situation <laughs> where she backs up what she's talking about because it's getting really, really, really over the top. Uh, now, Javante Davis may have kicked it off a little bit being out of hand, but let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. Clarissa Shields is probably the best women women's fighter in the history of the sport. A two-time Olympic champion, I believe, at currently is a three-time three-way division undisputed champion. In uh, I do believe she won at one sixty-eight, one sixty, and one fifty-four. Held all three belts. Undefeated fighter. Um, terrific fighter, terrific fighter. The only woman that I think can make an argument that she is, uh, that Clarissa is not better than her is the great Ann Wolf, Hall of Fame fighter Ann Wolf. But in my opinion, that's it. I think that she's a better fighter than, uh, than Layla Ali, Christy Martin, uh, Lucia, uh, Lucia Riker, uh, the, um, Cecilia Brakis, Katie Taylor, or any of the other fighters that are out there today. Uh, Alyssa Bumgardner, Alyssa Bumgardner, Amanda Serrano. Amanda Serrano actually has a good argument for it too. Um, however, um, I think Clarissa Shields is the absolute top. The only problem is Alyssa, I mean, the only problem is Clarissa Shields got a mouth that is just way, 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 goes way, way, way overboard. And she does it when she's very disrespectful to other champions who are not women. And she did it to Keith Thurman. She's done it to Ryan Gar uh she's done it to Ryan Garcia. Now she's done it to Javante Davis. Now before I get into it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much, especially everybody that supports in the super thanks of the videos. Matty Yo, Barbara D. Um, Jay, uh, Jay Miller, Big Dre, everybody, thank you. But look, man, this has to go said. Cl Clarissa Shields doing too much. Clarissa Shields has called out and talked very badly about Keith Thurman, a former unified champion at 147 pounds. Um, she said that she would beat this dude and what this guy could not do with her in a ring and how she wanted to fight him. She also has now said the same thing or something close to that about Gervonta Davis because Gervonta Davis says she was ugly. Um, now, I got to tell you, I do not agree with Gervonta Davis at all about Clarissa Shields not being an attractive woman, pretty woman. You know, Alyssa Bumgarner, pretty woman, women. I don't really watch men, uh, women's boxing for the sake of looking how pretty women are because, you know, they're getting punched in the face at the time, man. It's just a really interesting. I enjoy watching the sport. I mean, what they look like to me really doesn't make a difference, you know, in the ring. But whatever. Jermonte Davis threw some shots at her. I don't know if he said something like she looked like a gorilla or something like that. Uh, um, Clarissa Shields responds and talks about how he's some little midget and this and that. Um, as long as Clarissa Shields keeps that talk to, you know, what she thinks about him as a fighter and what other male fighters would do to her, would do to him in the ring, whether or not she thinks Devin Haney would beat him or whether or not she thinks Shakur would beat him or whatever. All of that is cool. But Clarissa goes over the goes overboard when she talks about what she will do, because the truth of the matter is Clarissa Shield is is what she's a hundred she can fight as high as 168 pounds she probably she is significantly bigger than Gervonta Davis is but if they step into the ring that is going to be the shortest fight of Gervonta Davis's career without a doubt she has absolutely no chance to beat him she has no chance to beat him 
She got no chance to beat Ryan Garcia. She's got no chance to beat Keith Thurman. Not none. And I don't care what people say, what men say when they say they're sparring and, and they're like, yeah, they're going all the way out. I have it. There is something in the mindset of most men, most men, sane men that are not going to allow you to go all the way out against a woman when you're when you're sparring or when you're really when you're competing in anything that is physical, because we know that we have the physical advantages and typically we're going to pull back even just a little bit because your your adrenaline is not going to be there. Your feeling was coming back from them. If you're wrestling, you could be wrestling your sister versus wrestling your brother. You know the difference between how she's pulling on you and how she's pulling your arms or pushing you or hitting you versus when your brother's hitting you or whether a friend or somebody that you're in an actual fight it, it with is is striking you. You're going to go all the way out with them because you have legitimate fear. You have legitimate. And if people that have never been in a fight, you might not even know this. A lot of times you don't even feel how strong you are. Everything feels really, really light. And however, you feel the fear, the adrenaline, the excitement, the lights, it's all on. And you are in it. So you are going full speed, even if you feel like you're kind of going slow. Or the way that you see the fight coming looks slow when you have all of that adrenaline and you're that keyed in. But when you are tussling with a woman in practice, you know, you're not going all the way out. You're not a man. You probably are because you guys are out there. You're really trying to get them and you don't care about what's happening uh, because you don't really think when you're landing that it is going to hurt them that much. You are almost expecting things to continue to come back and maybe a little shocked when he gets dropped. Clarissa Shields at thinking that men are really sparring him, her sister. They're lying to you. They're lying to you. They are not telling you this. Oh, yeah, I went all the way out. No, 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 no. They didn't. That guy that dropped her in sparring, he probably went all the way out. And you can say that was a dirty punch or whatever. No, that was probably him. I saw the shot. He's and she said, oh, no, he's messing with his gloves. He put bet. No, no, he probably didn't. He probably just got sick of you. And really, it wasn't right in the mind and doesn't have a problem hitting somebody like that all the way out. And that happened. So for me, Clarissa Shields loses my respect when you get outside of the realm of reality. That's not real. I don't believe you when you say you're going to do this with Keith Thurman. I believe that you got a crush on Keith Thurman. I don't believe that you. I do believe that you may not find Gervonta attractive because Gervonta Davis is a lot smaller guy than you. Whatever, man, whatever floats your boat doesn't make a difference. But I don't believe you want zero smoke with him or Ryan Garcia, nor should those guys are, nor are those guys going to put them in position themselves in position. If they're decent, if they're decent people to actually fight her or actually to actually fight you and to put them in a position where they have to respond in a way that, Oh yeah. What, what are they going to say? Yeah, let's do it. Nah, nah. Eventually though, somebody may say, yeah, let's do it. Don't be there's Bobby Riggs was Bobby Riggs. And um, back in the early 1970s, when um, Billie Jean King was talking about how, you know, what during the feminine, the uh, women's liberation, women's lib movement. Right. Women's liberation movement. She wanted to play an ex professional tennis player, Bobby Riggs, and they had a match and she wound up winning. Well, that can happen. That can that. And she won. That event actually took place. She won the event. Now, if Bobby Briggs was not, you know, 50 plus years old and she was in her early 30s and it probably if he wasn't being cute, if he had ever been at a, a real level, he probably would have beat her. If but tennis is not physical, if they're what are you going to you're going to mess around and wouldn't want to fight Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins will stop her in three rounds. It's just, in my opinion, it's just over the top. It is truly, truly, truly over the top. And she needs to stop it at this point and just stick to insulting him. 
Just stick to insulting him. Call him short. Call him ugly. Call him. You can't call him broke. You know, call some call Ryan a cheater, but just keep the I want to fight you stuff out of it because you really don't want to fight him and you ain't about to fight him unless you're trying to have a friendly sparring match. And even then, that's even then, if they decide to go out on you, it's not going to go well. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. The deuces.